Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Death and Destiny. I am Death from Above. You're watching a little Iron Banner gameplay. I'm going to talk about my Iron Banner experiences this week. What went on, what I thought about it, and what I think might be improved. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and strap in, buckle up, and let's go for some Iron Banner talk. Now, I did try to record this once before, and I realized my computer was picking it up on a mic on my headset. And I was thinking it was going good, thinking the recording was going strong, so... I'm going to try to repeat myself as best I can because I thought it was going really well. But then I realized what was happening because I saw the mic level dropping weird. And I was like, what's going on here? So it wasn't working. So we'll try it again. I know it's working now, so we'll be happy with it. But anyway, Iron Banner. I participated in it. I like it. It's probably one of my favorite things to do in Destiny. One, because I'm a lone wolf kind of guy. So I lone wolf a lot, and Iron Banner is great to lone wolf in. You just put the time in. Eventually, you'll get to the rank you want. So I like that. I mean, I love raids. They're fun. I like, uh, I like, I don't really like Trials, but I'll play it because it's got good loot and it's an interesting type of gameplay. This is a terrible decision on my part to sit there, but um, try not to comment too much on the video because it might be out of sync with the audio. But anyway, my Iron Banner experience was, uh, I started out on my Titan like I always do. I run Titan as my main, so he's the, he's the one I started the game with. He's the one I do everything first with. So I started with my Titan doing the Iron Banner on my, on Tuesday when it unlocked and got him up pretty quick it was going good um, nothing crazy special nothing exciting the gameplay you're watching now it's pretty mediocre gameplay until the end and in the end it becomes amazing I got really excited at the end of this video but uh, it's my, my only memorable match from the week but I would start out on my Titan doing all the Iron Banner stuffs I got him to like rank 3 or 4 midweek towards the end of the week and I switched over to my Warlock and then started working on my warlock, no my warlock, my hunter. Started working on my hunter, got my hunter up to rank two, I think. And then I switched back to my Titan, got him all the way to rank five. Now, in that time, my Titan got a got a drop for the Titan mark that I didn't even know it dropped. I don't know how it happened. I came back the next day and it was just in my inventory. I didn't know where I'd gotten it. So I got the Titan Iron Banner mark. And I got the sidearm to drop, but that's all I got on my Titan from rank one to rank five. And I got him all the way up. So at rank five, I bought the pulse rifle because I was just I just wanted to have it. I wanted to make sure I had it and didn't forget to get it. So I bought that on my Titan when I hit rank five. Then I went to my hunter. I got him up to rank four. Got zero drops, none, none drops, none of the drops. <laughs> so I went and bought the cloak with marks. I bought the boots with marks. I bought boots on my Titan with marks too. And uh, my hunter, I didn't need. I'd already gotten the sidearm, so I didn't buy it. But I got him to rank 4 and I realized as I was trying to hit rank 5 I was a match or two away but I didn't know I'd have to win a couple and I was tired and I was like, I don't I don't know. And then I thought about it, there's no reason to get more than one character to rank 5. The only reward for rank 5 is a possible drop which you are proving to be elusive and the pulse rifle that I'd already purchased. So I wasn't too worried about it. And so I got him to rank 4, got my warlock to rank 4 Monday night. <laughs> the warlock rank 4 story was kind of funny, I had given up. It was late Monday night. I was tired. I wanted to go to bed. And I thought to myself, I'll play one more match. I'm ranked three and three quarters. If I win, great. If I don't, whatever. I ended up winning out, uh, getting a couple bounties done or something to where I hit rank four. And I said, that's it. I'm done. I can go buy the boots. Well, I had like nine marks. <laughs> I did not have enough marks. So what happened is I went and did the dailies as I was tired. Went to the, at the end of my dailies, I had some, Ingram's to turn in, went to the Cryptarch, turned in my Ingram's, got a legendary out of one of the blues, dismantled it, ended up with 42 marks to buy boots that cost 40 marks. Now that's a little frustrating because that experience was not supposed to happen with this Iron Banner. You were supposed to be able to go in, play until rank 5, get the drops, and then if you're missing one thing, go to Lord Saladin and buy it. But I found you didn't get very many drops. The only thing I got to drop were the Titan Mark, the Sidearm, and the Warlock Bond. That's all I got to drop. That's it. I got two characters to rank four and one character to rank five. I got three drops. Three. I'm holding up my hand for emphasis. <laughs> three drops. I think this is a problem. I don't think I don't think that's what they meant to say when they said, hey, you play, you're gonna get the drops you need, and Saladin's there just for as a backup. I don't I think Either it's working as they are intending it to work and they didn't communicate well how it was going to work or it's not working like they intended it to do. It's just, I don't think 
that can't be right. It just can't be right, especially with Bungie's track record lately. So I disagree with that. I don't think it was good enough. I think they need to do something about it. And I have some ideas. Nobody cares, but I have some ideas. So there's there's two different paths in my brain to fix Iron Banner. One, well, let's talk about lag first before we get into how to fix the loot drops. The lag, they, they claim the lag was improved. I didn't notice any improvement, if anything. Um, it, it wasn't any worse, it was about the same. I still had some laggy matches, it just happens. I don't know how to improve it. I'm not educated on that sort of thing, so it just is what it is. So, the lag was whatever, but loot drops, that's the main idea, is how would you fix it. And I have two different, two differing visions. Uh, the first is just to increase the drop rates. Just move the legendary drop rates for Iron Banner gear up. Now keep, uh, now say next week we come in and they've moved it up, but it's just the stuff he's selling next week. I think I'll disagree with that a little bit. I think he should, it, not next week, but next month. Next month, I think he should sell what he sold, what he's going to sell, new stuff. But I think the drops should be his current inventory and the previous inventory. So the inventory from this past Iron Banner. I think that would be a good system. Keep building on what you brought in before. Bring it out again and bring the new stuff out too. So you have multiple avenues and for people to miss out the last time, they can still get it this time. I like that idea, but that's the first idea. The second idea is to kind of change up the loot system for Iron Banner a little bit. Now think about this. Every vendor that you rank up, Vanguard Crucible, Dead Orbit, Future War Cult, Gunsmith, New Monarchy, all those guys give you packages once you pass rank 3. And they just start giving you packages. The Gunsmith gives you packages at rank 2. So you get packages from all these guys and you think, why doesn't Iron Banner do that? Just give it to us at rank 4 and rank 5. Give us an Iron Banner package with one random legendary. Piece of armor, weapon, something. Give us a ghost. I mean, is there an Iron Banner ghost? How cool would that be? So that, that's one of the, the other ways I think they should improve it. I think you should get, you should get packages, Iron Banner packages. Um, and another thing would be at the end of a match, I read this on Reddit. Why not, instead of giving you legendary Ingrams or legendary drops, you get an Iron Ingram. And what that is, is a specific Iron Banner item, legendary item. You're not guaranteed any specific thing, but it is specific Iron Banner gear. So you take it to Lord Saladin and he decrypts it, or you take it to the Crypt Arc, I don't know, I don't care where you take it. But you take it to him, you let him decrypt it, and they give you a legendary from the Iron Banner, a random legendary. I think that would be awesome. That that would be very cool. So if you had packages and iron ingrams, oh how cool would that be? I think that would put it much more. I put that would put the control, or at least the feeling of control, a lot more in the hands of the player. They would feel like they're getting screwed by RNG by not getting a drop at the end of a match. And then they got to go spend marks on an item they want, even though it's not the right rolls or it's not the right level that they want it to be, just to have it. So I don't know. My completionist brain kind of comes and starts churning on that sort of thing. So I don't like it when it doesn't work like intended or as they said they would. But that's about all I got on that. Iron Banner, I still like it. I'm still happy with it. I'm still going to go play it. I'm not going to stop. So what do you guys think about the Iron Banner? Did it live up to your expectations this time? Did you play it? Did you not play it? Did you say, screw that, I'm not doing it? Or did you get a lot of stuff and you think it's awesome? I want to know what you think. I want to know what Iron Banner ideas you have. So... The end of this video is pretty epic. I would recommend watching through the end. I get excited. I'll try to turn the audio up for you so you can you listen to me to get excited. But I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate the views. Uh, leave me your thoughts on the Iron Banner. And until next time, I will see you later. See you. Bye. Go for some kills, man. Where'd their team go? Oh.
Oh no, I didn't. Oh no, I didn't. Oh no, I didn't. Oh no, I didn't. Oh yes, I did. Oh yeah. Straight pulled that out of nowhere. Oh yes. Yes, I did. We're gonna save that. That was some good stuff. That was great. <laughs>